Uh, so today at about uh, shortly after 5 p.m., uh, police responded to a call. And when they arrived on scene, there were two victims, a, a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. Both had been shot. They've been uh, rushed to hospital. The information that we have right now is that the uh, younger one uh, is in critical condition and is undergoing surgery. And the other uh, the nine-year-old is also uh, undergoing uh, or will be undergoing sh surgery shortly. Um, obviously, these two uh, young uh, girls are not the intended targets. Some cowards came into this neighborhood and opened fire into a playground. Uh, I can tell you that we are putting every resource on this to make sure that we uh, uh, apprehend the person that would uh, be motivated to do something like this in the city of Toronto and uh, we will be taking uh, aggressive uh, action towards uh, resolving this particular investigation. Confirming Chief. both girls? I, I believe it's the information I, information I have at this time. Uh, one of the investigators will come out, give uh, more uh, information and more content as to what uh, the storyline is for this. This is very early right now. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, we've canvassed. We're canvassing for video. We're canvassing the whole neighborhood. Uh, we've got lots of resources here, but uh, uh, right now uh, we are definitely looking for a, uh, a subject uh, with a firearm that uh, was last seen driving out of this uh, area. Chief, you say, you, Chief, Chief, you said that cowards came into this neighborhood and shot these two little girls in a playground. Are you looking for one or more suspects? Well, right now, the information I have is is one. Uh, I don't care what the number is. This, this act uh, is despicable, and and, uh, and and rest assured that we'll put the adequate resources on to, to resolve this one. Do you know who the target was? Uh, I can't give that information at this time, and I don't want to speculate. All I know is I've got two young uh, children that are shot, and uh, that's disturbing. What's your you message to this neighborhood? Is. The people here are very upset about what's happened, obviously. What's your message? Well, to we are going to do anything and everything we can to uh, to restore uh, safety in this neighborhood. Um, the uh, uh, officers here have been getting a, a tremendous amount of cooperation from uh, from the community. People have been talking to us with what they have seen, which is a, a good step for us. Uh, it's very early, so it's really uh, unclear as to what we have right now. We do have some good direction. Uh, hopefully, the uh, video that's uh, throughout this uh, neighborhood will will help enhance the the investigative uh, uh, efforts that are put out, and uh, we'll we'll continue to do what we need to do to uh, to resolve this one. Why, why did they open fire in the playground? Was the target nearby? Well, I'm, I'm not going to speculate. Chief, we've been seeing a lot of um, acts of gun violence in the city recently. Do we have a problem? Well, no, you know what? This is the same thing that we go through every summer, so let, let's be very clear. Uh, when we look at our numbers, there's not this tremendous spike. There hasn't been. Uh, when we do shooting incidents, they do go in peaks and valleys right across the city. It happens every single year. I'm not happy with it, so I'm not here to say all is well. Any time that someone is motivated to use a firearm, I have great concerns for that. Um, we look at those uh, cases on an individual basis and, and use the necessary resources for successful outcomes. Um, this is a case where, uh, obviously, we've got two kids that are definitely unintended uh, that are shot, um, so th there will be a, a, a a much stronger uh, sense of, of uh, aligning what resources are necessary. Um, whoever would uh, uh, shoot a, a handgun in a school, uh, in, a, in a playground, uh, I've got concerns with it, and so should the rest of the community. So I want to make sure that we can resolve this one. What's how many children message? were in that playground? I don't know how many at this time. The investigation is still ongoing. Uh, hopefully as we uh, start uh, you know, peeling the layers and speaking with uh, the members of the community, we'll get a better understanding of, of exactly uh, how this played out and how many people were here. Um, people are cooperating, people are giving us the information that, that uh, is helping us advance the, the investigation. So um, I'm pretty satisfied that by the end of it, we'll have all the uh, information necessary to, to have a, a clear picture of exactly what took place shortly after 5 o'clock today. What's your message to the parents? Uh, the investigators will be able to give that a more comprehensive account of that as uh, as time goes on. What's your What's message your to the shooter? You seem pretty angry about this. Just your well, side. I'm not going to say that I'm angry. I'm just going to say that, you know, the fact that uh, when we have children in, in playgrounds and, and playing in, in any community, and not just the city of Toronto, and someone is going to shoot in a playground uh, at, at five o'clock in the evening, I have uh, great concerns for that particular individual that would motivate him to, to pull a trigger. And, and so that is definitely something that is a, a great concern to the city. It's a great concern to uh, the Toronto Police Service, and we will definitely uh, take whatever steps we need to to uh, identify, locate, and apprehend. And, you know, if, if his friends are out there, uh, this is a cowardly act. This is not a brave moment. And, and, and in fact, it's a disgusting moment. And uh, if your friends are supporting it, it says a lot about your friends. But I, I don't think that that's going to be the case. Uh, th there's no bravery here. In fact, this is absolute stupidity. And I, I think that
that uh, the sooner we can resolve this, if that person uh, uh, turns himself in, that would be the best recourse. Uh, if not, uh, we'll find you and we'll apprehend you. What's your message to parents, given that the shooter's still out there and this happened in a playground? Well, I'm, listen, this is the city of Toronto. When you look at urban cities, and, 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 and please look at the numbers when it comes to community safety, uh, urban cities, and you'll see where Toronto stands. It's number one. It has been for numerous years, and it will continue to be number one. And you know, We do great work as a police service, but the members of the community uh, contribute so much towards community safety. So I think collectively, uh, this is still the safest urban city in, in, in the country and, and in North America, and I, I will continue to keep it that way.